Hey guys, uh, what's going on? It's Christmas time here. It's actually snowing out right now, so uh, and they're they're doing jingle bells or something down the hallway. Uh, hopefully you guys don't hear too much of it, uh, unless you like that kind of stuff, which is awesome too. Uh, I'm gonna do two things real quick. I'm gonna go over uh, patient-specific education, uh, and then I'm also gonna go over uh, medical reconciliation. So uh, when we look at that in EHR, what is uh, patient-specific education? Anything that basically ends with the uh, subtopic literature in education. So I can kind of show you kind of what that looks like real quick. But what we like to do is we like to look at like what is the problem on the problem list. So let's say you have a diabetic. Let's go pick one of those uh, that ends in literature. Uh, you can look at a medication that you're giving the patient. You can look at a uh, purpose of visit for today. Uh, let's say you gave them a cast. You can give them something on that. So I'll just give you a quick example of what that looks like. Now, granted, my EHR might be a little bit uh, different than your EHR. I'm always playing around with them. Uh, but I'm going to go in here and go to Add. So let's say I have that diabetic patient. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to Diabetes. And then I'm going to go ahead, open this up, and I'm going to look for literature. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. So that education right there, see how that ends in literature? So this is the patient who has diabetes. I'm gonna do an education real quick, uh, print up something and give it to them. Uh, that would satisfy that measure for meaningful use. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look over um, at medical reconciliation. There's a couple way, ways that you guys can do that, medication reconciliation. Uh, you can create a quick little pick, pick list over here and this is, uh, we call it the CPT. Uh, for chaps, they call it, I, I believe, procedures, uh, or you guys can call it, others call it the super bill. All right, so let's take a look at that. Uh, so I created a little pick list called MedRec. Uh, this MedRec pick list has this 111F associated with it, and that's associated with the education. Uh, so that's an education ending in MR, medication reconciliation. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cancel out of here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is show you another tricky way that you can do it. You could actually make a button that just launches your education. Uh, so this is what we did. I click that, and it automatically does this right here. Uh, I'm going to say Add, and this should be taking me over here to my pick lists. Uh, this is where I actually like to leave it. And I actually put the education right in there medication, reconciliation, and um, that will that will do it for you. That will meet that measure. Uh, one final way that you can do that is let's go back over here to the educations. We're going to go add. Uh, your CAC can make these lists for you. So if I go over here to that pick list, we can basically uh, click this button. We can add a new pick list if we want. If I want to add a new pick list, I want to call it uh, James. I say OK. Uh, now I have a pick list right there. Let's say I want to edit it. Go into that. Here's James. I want to add CPT codes or educations, or not, not CPT codes, educations. I can go in here. Let's say James has lots of acne. Let's go put that on here. Let's make a little literature. There it is. I say, all right, let's cancel out of here. So now I literally have made a pick list titled James, Acne Literature. All right, so there you go. So your CACs can use that too. I hope this has been very helpful and you guys are able to utilize it. Uh, if you're a CAC, you're able to make these pick lists for your providers. If you're a provider, you're able to meet meaningful use. Woohoo! All right, talk to you later and have a great weekend.